All right, now that we've done the unboxing, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to build the mount. Uh, we do have our instruction manual right here that kind of gives us a step-by-step -step guide on how to put this together. Uh, we'll go through this and we'll see how well I do. I'm only gonna use the tools that were included in the packaging, so I believe all the tools are here, including the wrench and the Allen keys that they went ahead and sent two different size Allen keys here. Um, I do have all my pieces laid out, um, make the assembly a little bit easier, I hope, be a little bit more organized. So let's go ahead and start assembling the unit. So the first thing here in step one is they want us to go ahead and put the legs on. Um, I do notice that it's kind of tough to see which piece goes with what. Um, this has a, um, a three-way intersection and this, I believe this is going to be towards the back of the uh, mount system. So this will be on the opposite side of where the sensor will be. Um, then it's also asking about to put this long bar in here. And if you notice, it does have this this metal plate here with this large hole. I'm assuming, I can't see by the instructions, but I'm assuming that this Allen key, this Allen bolt fits right into there. So once I go ahead and mount that, I would just go ahead and type it up. There's a little bit of play in there, but once I tighten this up, I believe that play goes ahead and it's it's relieved. So here we go, we have that, that mount on there. The next piece they are saying is that we have to go ahead and mount the, the leg. And so I'm just taking one that has this 90 degree pin, which this square piece in the middle. I'm just gonna go ahead and slip that on. This doesn't have a metal piece that it kind of clamps again. I think it's so it can move freely um, in this. So if we have a shorter hood, we can move that to a shorter position. Or if it has a longer hood, we can move that to a longer position. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just hand tighten this, not put a lot of torque on it with this, just to kind of lock it in place. Okay, and then the last step they are requiring is that we put in this metal slider, I believe, which is, which is this piece here. Now, from what I'm gathering is they have two holes that are right here, we want those not to be on top, but on the side. If I can see that in the video, I'm not meaning the picture, I really can't see if those holes are on the top or on the side, but if these are to mount those brackets, these little metal brackets, I'm assuming that, let's see how this fits. That's what is going to fit these metal brackets onto the sensor. So I'm assuming it's gonna kind of go like this, those holes line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the side of this mount. I believe it just slides in. It's kind of, it is a tight fit. Let's see if I can push that in there. Not sure here. There we go. That slides in there pretty freely. And that's how I believe this, this fits together, something like this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. So they're gonna have me build the exact same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and find that little metal piece on here, which is right there. On there, I'm gonna go ahead and mount it in into this so that that Allen uh, screw is gonna, it's gonna go ahead and fit in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Not a lot of torque at this point. Do you want some play in there? And then it's saying to put this piece, just like what we did on on the first one. loosen this up. This feels like a tighter fit. There we go. So there we go, got that. And I'll go ahead and just give this a quick, just hand tighten on there. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and mount this to the top. 
And right now it's just saying to slide those in. So I believe that's what we're doing. So now we have basically these two bars built. The next step, once we have the two built, this is to go ahead and slide in these cross members. And again, they have these two metal, they look like holes, but there's metal behind it. I believe that's gonna line up with the, with the unit here, with the, the screws. So I'll go ahead and tighten, I'll just hand tighten those down just so it doesn't fall out. Yeah, and if you get them in there, it seems like those will lock into place so they don't slide out because they are drilled in there. And then these, these screws fit into those holes pretty nicely. Yeah, I think that's good. Just hand tighten it so there is a little bit of play in there. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing on our mount here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that cross member here as well. So I'll loosen this so they're right across from each other. Now here, here's the first thing when I put this on, I see that I've got, got an Allen wrench on this side, a, a, a screw on this side, and then I've got one on this side. I don't think that matters the, what side they're on because I do see that they're drilled on both sides of here. So they're not gonna match the one, one screw's gonna be on this side and the other screw's gonna be on the opposite side. I don't think that really affects anything as far as the assembly goes. So we'll go ahead and do this. Tighten this up. Now we should be able to loosen these and if we need to make adjustments, I wonder how easy this will slide. So I always find it's kind of difficult when you have two pieces um, that are kind of working independently. They kind, of get, they kind of get a little off and then it binds. So let's just see here how this kind of moves. Loosen this. Well, I guess this is a good time. That's, it's not too bad. You do have to move them together, so if you're gonna get that in there, but I think this is like a one-time adjustment. Once you find the perfect length, you're gonna go ahead and set that up, tighten it down, and you should be, should be pretty good to go. Now, I did notice that this does have some adjustment here. So they do have this little push pins here that we can go ahead and we can adjust these leg, legs. So if, again, if that mower has a bit of a tilt to it, we can make these legs longer if need to. It looks like it has quite a bit of adjustment, maybe six, maybe five inches of adjustment on there that you can go ahead and make that change to. But the legs feel pretty good. And they've got nice ball joints here as well. So that will go ahead and kind of conform to the hood, if it has any kind of curvature to it on that as well. So that's, that's pretty good. So we've got that together. Um, the next step they're, uh, they're having us do is, I believe they want us to put some kind of, Kind of washers I'm talking about. So let me see what we have in, in this bag with the nuts going forward. So they supplied us with it looks like eight, excuse me, seven. 
they've supplied us with seven long bolts here and they've supplied us with five short bolts. And then they have some washers in here and some look like lock washers that are the ones that have the kind of the, the nylon on the inside so the, the, you don't have to have a, a separate lock washer in there as well. So I've got that. I'm trying to figure out exactly where that's gonna go on this. M535. I'm guessing that this M535 goes, this is that long one, so it's kind of going right in here. Um, and they're supplying a washer as well. And this is going to make sure it holds the actual uh, sliding piece on there. I'll go ahead and put this other one on this side. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and add that. And then we can go ahead and tighten that up. The wrench that they provided and the Allen key. I believe this is how it goes. All right, I took a closer look at the instructions and I realized that I was counting the screws that came with the unit, should have had only six of these long ones, um, which I have seven of them, so I think they sent an extra one. And then also only four of these short ones, which um, I have five of, but I should only have four. So I just sent an extra one in case you drop one and lose one. However, um, I was looking at the washer situation and it looks like there's like, there should be 20 washers in here. So I'm guessing, um, and maybe I don't know this as a golf pro, but um, we're gonna be putting a washer on the, um, on both sides of this so when we put it in. So I'm gonna have to back these out and, and redo that. So a washer's gonna go on each side of these um, before we put them in. Probably have to be a technician or an engineer to know that. But now I do. So we'll put those in here and we'll kind of get all that set up. Wash on each side, Get through. And I believe the idea here is to have these metal pieces that can come out and then we can store, store the sensor separately um, from the mount if you need to. So it's not on the so it's not on the outside of the footprint of the of the mower. So let's go ahead and tighten these up. Add up. Okay. I believe that looks good. I don't think. So I think that this obviously can slide within here, but once we attach the sensor to it, this will also be solidly in place, um, part of the mount. So let's go ahead and bring this down. It's kind of the step here. Let's see what our next step is on replacing this, on putting this together. So we got the, the, the nuts, the washer, attach steel plates to the magnet feet and clean the mounting surface before exposing the adhesive. So kind of once you have um, probably this basic mount built, uh, what they want you to do is they want to go ahead and almost get the plates mounted to the actual surface of the, the traction unit, if that's what you're doing or if you're doing it on your cart. They sent these uh, plates. So what they're going to have us do here is they just want to have them stuck onto here, kind of center them up so you can get that right. 
make sure you kind of do a dry fit first before you put the plates on or any of that kind of stuff to make sure that the feet are gonna be on a surface that these can mount to. Um, once you get them mounted, there's something to go ahead and clean, clean those surfaces really well. And I know from this 3M stuff that if you let it cure for 24 hours before putting any kind of weight on it, um, the adhesion works a lot better. There's less chance of the adhesion, adhesion separating the plate and the fiberglass. But kind of once you have those centered on there and that, you can go ahead and peel that tape off. You can stick it onto the traction unit and just let that cure for 24 hours. Um, we're not gonna stick it on here. We're gonna just kind of keep going with the build. So we've got the plates on. So the next step is they're saying to go ahead and mount the brackets. So we gotta mount the brackets to the actual sensor. So we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna pull out our sensor. And I'm gonna undo the bubble wrap. Sensor came in there. I just wanna visually inspect it, make sure everything looks good. First of all, um, if, you've, if you've been following us, you probably noticed that this is definitely a better looking version than the uh, prototype that we had at the, at the show. Uh, plastic is really nicely molded. Um, it's completely waterproof. They do have a seal in there. Um, nice logo on the front. And then we have all the connections in the back that we'll be attaching the GPS unit to. Um, I believe this is for the power and this is for the USB. This is probably just for diagnostics. You don't need to do anything with that. You'll be using these two for sure. So let's go ahead and set up, um, set up the, the mounts on this. So it says the mounts, the long side is going to be mounted on this like this. So we wanna make sure that we get this correct. What we're mounting here. I'm gonna turn the sensor kind of the same direction as it would be on the mount. And it looks like the 90 degree bend goes towards the bottom of the sensor. So if I have it on the bottom, this is gonna be a 90 degree bend here, and that's how it's going to mount. Let's see how they have us do this. They're gonna have us put Uh, I'm also noticing one other thing is that there's two holes on this side versus, you know, they've got a hole here and a hole here and they get close. I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference in how this mounts. I think it is. So we want to make sure that these small holes towards the front, that looks good. Yep. Okay. So yeah, we have these two narrow holes to the front and then it's saying to use one of the small and then of course the washers right here. So you can put the washer on. Washer, washer. And I'm wondering if this goes to the inside or outside of the mounting structure. It looks like, it looks like they're mounting it to the outside so we want to be to the outside of this, this main mount. So outside here, we'll go ahead and put these in. That's going to be an important detail because I don't think it'll fit the frame if we do it on the inside. We'll put our washers on each side. where it couldn't get to it. Okay, so this mount is done. And then we're gonna do the other triangle here, the other mounting piece. So it's gonna go this way. Two dots here is gonna go towards the front of the unit. So drag this here so you can see. Go 
right, right here. the process hasn't been too bad as far as putting this together um, you can definitely see there's some probably some stuff that we need to add to our instructional booklet that will get added for the new shipments as far as how those bars fit together making sure that you know we're specifying at least for me that you know washers are going on each side that may be that may be common but I didn't know it. Okay. So now that we have the sensor mounted, um, I think when we get done, if we were to look at it, you know, the sensor is going to mount like this. So it will be kind of facing at a, probably some 30 some degrees or whatever that is to, to the ground, um, to the mount. So the next step is being able to mount this to this unit. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And clear out some of this stuff. So we have our turf rad sensor. Again, we're gonna take the long, not again, I guess we're gonna take the long screws here and they're gonna go into uh, these holes. There's four of them, two on each side. And it looks like these triangles mount to the inside of this mount, so. Let's see how tight that is. Kind of feels tight. To me. Again, maybe this is where, um, you know, loosening this up can help kind of get that so it's not as tight. But let's go ahead and try to push that on there. Let's see how easy that is. Try to get one hole lined up here. That's gonna be the trick. Okay, got that one set up. Kinda of hard to see. Gonna let the threads pull it through. There we go. Perfect. Now we gotta go ahead and tighten those bolts up. Not full, fully tight, but at least put the washer and the nuts in there. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing for the back plates as well. Okay, it looks like it lines up really well. That's always nice. It's off by a little bit where the nut won't fit in there. It's slid it actually really easy. So 
Well, that's good. Tolerances are pretty tight on, on these holes. They line up perfectly. I'll do the same thing on the last one. I think my last, last bolt and nut to put on, I can put in the washers on both sides. Screw I might not be as lucky with as far as the lining up. There, oh, yeah, it was pretty good. Okay. That one's lined up. Put that on. Now go ahead and tighten everything up so nothing rattles loose. like everything is in there real nice I think the last step I'll do is I'll just go around and make a final adjustments to this if I need to and if I feel everything's really good uh, I'll go ahead and do a final tighten on these because I don't want obviously these to be coming out I don't think they will because they have that little channel to sit into but definitely don't want the screw coming loose okay all right and there we go we have the final sensor it weighs i'd say it probably weighs a good you know 10 10 to 15 pounds um once everything is assembled uh, the thing the next thing is is we'll go ahead and we will hook up wires here so we know how those will hook up into the system and uh and we'll be ready to mount this on to well we've unit. got our unit here and i think the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and put up the the gps unit into the system so we're going to go ahead and first of all open up the gps unit and we're going to attach that get a cord to the antenna, which is right here, according to the instructions. Let's see what they say where we actually place the antenna on here. So this is the GPS connector, um, place magnetic GPS. It's definitely telling us to put that GPS unit towards the back of the sensor and i believe that is because this unit the farther it is away the easier it is for the sensor actually to detect the moisture on it so we're putting that i'm putting that gps unit all the way to the front and i'm attaching it to those cast iron jo uh, joints that the aluminum bars are fitting into and you can kind of zip tie this unit or however you want to do to the aluminum so it's a nice clean install on there. The next step is to probably take the power cable and we want to attach that power cable. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the power cable, which in here. And it's saying use zip ties to secure the, the device. I don't see any zip ties in the actual, what came with it. So you'll have to supply those if you don't have them. We'll take this, plug this in. And we'll wanna make sure to make, these are a nice tight connection into the system. I wonder if this wrench will fit this. And that'd be something special if it did, it didn't. But I think you can just hand tighten these um, to what needs to be 
we do want to make our nice waterproof seal so get that in there nice and tight and again you can zip tie these to the aluminum piece i'm not sure i don't think if the wires are running together i don't think that's going to cause any issues with that but um, they do have a cigarette lighter on the other end that that can plug into a um a female cigarette lighter on the traction unit if you have one or in your cart i know they're looking at ups uh, not ups usb uh, adapters as well so um right now we just have the cigarette lighter on that but i think that was pretty basic install i think it went fairly decent uh there was a few little just moments of not quite clear where I was actually putting that these metal bars, but I kind of think through it, it, it does make sense. Um, I think it's something that we'll look at going forward with the manual is kind of improving that. But for the first attempt, I think it went pretty well. The next one we will be uh, actually installing this on a barrel unit. So look for us out on the golf course. Until then, I hope if you've gotten one of these, um, this helps you. And if you're looking to get one, feel free to reach out to us at ASP Task Tracker, um, there's a form that you can fill out. We're happy to do a demo on this system, on what it can do, and, and the kind of uh, data it can bring into the platform.